doc is back. Welcome to Medically Speaking with Dr. Winston Alexis, hosted by Tyrone Robertson. Join Doc and his guests as they discuss healthcare and the Caribbean community every Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Caribcast.tv, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and most other popular podcast platforms. I didn't grow up here, but Broward County has become home to me. This is where I settled. I raised my family here and started my practice here. For over 20 years, I've represented my neighbors, people who needed help in a stressful time. If you find yourself in need of an attorney, reach out to someone you can trust, someone with a proven track record. When a car accident or personal injury sets you back, call Scott McCullough. 954-989-3435. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this week's episode of Medically Speaking with Dr. Winston Alexis. Doc. Yeah, what happened? Yeah, yeah, everything all right, man. You know the usual thing. I have to give you a little thing, a, a quick, a tidbit for Corona. All right. What is happening now has not surprised me. Mm -hmm. Fauci told us this back in March. Yes, and he's been spot but guess on. What? But guess what? Mm -hmm. The public didn't understand what he's talking about. Yes. And that's what this show is about. Learning the language that you involved in, in any walk of life. For instance, don't buy a house until you understand what what the difference between compound interest and ARP and all that stuff you see. Mm -hmm. Right, understand what deductibles and things mean when you're buying a house. Yes. Right, if you're going to school, do your work. What kind of uh, a thing this school specializes in? Not all universities universities are created equal. equal. Correct. And Correct. you also learn not because your name Harvard mean you're better than the school that me and the vice president came from. Gotcha. Right? Yeah, yeah man, we be watching. I always know we had one of the greatest university. No, and, and the white world accepted it. All right. During black times, we were called the Harvard. Of, of the black community. Of the black community. All right, all right. As a matter of fact, we name Howard, they name Harvard. Close. <laughs> No, but it's accepted by all the universities that we were in the top rank when the colleges did, and did, universities were segregated. Did Howard University pay you for that plug? No, they paid me, making me one of the best uh, professionals you could find in the world. Well, there you have it. And also, Madam President, <laughs> Vice. Vice President. Who is one of the best legal minds. Yes. That this, you know what, what down the road is? Let me tell you what down the road is. Supreme Court. All right. I ain't going to be dead by then, by All the right. time she reached there. But, All right. but, uh, but the point is, understand where you are doing. For she said, when it comes fall, mm -hmm. but he, he didn't really get deep into it because you feel the people couldn't understand what we talk. talking. Here, here is something dropping. Everybody, I was getting happy. I wanted to play golf a game. I actually played twice. And when it started to rise again, everybody is shocked. And then I went back and I say, you know, this man really said it then. Had the but conversation people didn't today. understand yes, what he was saying. Yes, 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 yes. That all flu viruses get worse in fall. Mm -hmm. It was no great thing he was telling. But we somehow we choose to believe differently. Mm -hmm. I myself was telling people, man, by the end of summer, I think this thing is going to be over. I was wrong. Because I didn't listen to the maestro. So the point is, and you know we, what we're going to be talking about today is a very hard subject. But you need to understand what health insurance means in America. Yes. yes. Right? And that's what me and you are going to be really, was in here anything again? Take a drink and let's talk. No. <laughs> well, 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 well. No, what you whistle. That is what we call it, too. Wet your whistle and let's oh, talk. Geez. No, but I really, and by the way, it's a good thing we're going to be taping this because you are not going to understand all of this tonight. Don't even write down anything. It's taped. Mm -hmm. Listen to the points I'm making. I didn't listen to Fauci clear enough. I was only hearing the news I wanted to hear. 
Oh, it's it's going down. Oh God, it's only two percent. It's only three percent. That's why I was checking in Florida. Uh, then yeah. all of a sudden, boom, it's seventeen. It's gone, it's gone and again. And I say, how could I miss this? And then I went back. Oh, he was talking about the natural history of the flu viruses, and that's what Corona is. One of that family mm-hmm. of viruses always get worse in summer. So now I'm glad I get my. Uh, vaccine, I mean, my, my flu shot. Mm-hmm. I mean, you more co- because I don't want having the flu now, coughing two times and think it's corona. corona. <laughs> that will mix it up a little more. Yeah, but we need again to get down. And the whole idea of this is to educate you on what you need to know. Right? I ain't making your insurance agents, but you need to know when the insurance agent talk to you what he's talking about. All right. On that right. note. So ladies and gentlemen, our topic for this episode is health insurance. Right. And Doc being an expert a what? of sorts. <laughs> that lady is the expert and she tells me when and I'm right to, And you're not to call her name. Uh, yeah, she, she gave me a briefing today. I'm yeah. like the president. All right. She know I'm coming in and you know in my office she is the money lady. Yes. So yes. she knows more about insurance. So she gave me a couple of... So, a little points that I must make sure I make tonight. All right. So start us off, Doc, and and give us your view or your definition of what what is health right. insurance. A very unique product that does not exist in any form in anywhere else in the world. That sounds strange. Yeah, car insurance. You have house insurance. Yeah, mm-hmm. like what am I talking about? Health insurance doesn't follow any of the rules in the insurance business. Mm-hmm. The regular ins- your life insurance is a, a thing. The life insurance carriers gambling on your life. They are gambling the fact that you're going to live long enough that they are able to take all them premiums, invest it somewhere, make a whole heap of money so that if and when you die, you have more than enough money to pay you. It's a gamble. Oh, if you course. fall long and dead the next day, well, they lose on that one. However, the way to protect themselves is to get thousands of people who are healthy who will make up for the one that's going to drop down dead on you. Point I'm making here, it's a business. Yes. Nobody control them. They do whatever they want in their business. Which which one? Insurance on a whole? Any kind of insurance. Okay. The only right. thing that's controlled is the normal business laws. Got you it. make your money, you pay your tax, you make your money, you pay out. Got, got it. Health got insurance, it. by the way, life, car, house flood, all of them operate under that principle. Mm-hmm. Our health insurance is the... Uh, another thing, when time, let's take your car. Mm-hmm. You're in an accident, when time to color, they look, they tell you, I will give you $300. Because you had a hundred dollar deductible, we take all that hundred dollars from it. The work we estimate is three hundred. Here's your three hundred. Right, right. You could go to anybody and fix your car. Oh, don't fix it. Mm-hmm. Right. That is not how health insurance is. Health insurance is. I am going to tell you who you have to go to. You buy the product. You have the insurance, but you can go where you want. They have things called provider panels. That tell you you have to go to this guy, otherwise we ain't paying. Right? And they recruit the guys who will take the terrible reimbursements they want to give. Mm-hmm. It have about five insurance companies I've never belonged to and I never will because they pay too shitty. Right, right, right. And, what, I, what, what, and what I'm that? a good enough physician mm-hmm. that people will come and find me wherever I am. Right. So you understand, they force you into provider. Panels, that's the fancy name for it. Nobody don't tell you where to fix your car. Well, they they, uh, they attempt to, because if you choose, aren't you able to choose if you go with a, a different plan? No, then, yeah, but you, then you can't go out of that plan. You have to be a provider in that plan. Within that it's plan. not the okay. plan, you know. With your car insurance, they ain't going to provide you, get you like me. Mm-hmm. I go in Benz to fix my car. I mm-hmm. don't care where other people fix it. I say no. Right, and many right. times I have to pay an above beyond what they're giving me. But the point is I have freedom of choice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. You bounce your car more than once? I never did. Yeah. Talking about that lady, <laughs> not me. That lady banged it up a couple of times. Me, I only have one. 
I back into a tree one evening, kind of late. So, but well, you understand the point. You have to go where they tell you okay, to. Okay, all right, all right. And they make contracts with the guys to gotcha. the, who take the cheapest they want them. Oh, I'm with you. Okay, okay. All right, that's the first thing. There's no other insurance product that tell you who you have to go to mm-hmm. to remedy the situation. Interesting, okay. So that is number one. This gotcha. thing called provider panel is the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. That means you do not have the freedom. On tr- I could be the best doc. Mm-hmm. If I don't take your insurance, you have to go to the quack. You understand what I'm saying? That is the one of the worst, only insurance product in the world that's that. Right? Okay. So, and listen what they do now. You don't understand the ramifications of that. They have me under control. Why? They sign up all the patients. If I ain't take the, the, what they pay me, I'm going to starve to death. Yes, yes. Okay. So they're holding me for ransom. I, folks, listen to this. The insurance company never pay in the last 25 years. Well, not so far. About the last 18 years, none of them has ever paid me what I bill. They paid me what is called a contracted price. Let me explain to you. $3,500 to deliver a baby. If you come from Iran, and you have no insurance, that's how much you have to put in my pocket because that's the going rate. Right, right. They pay me 1200 to do this. What am I going to do? They have all the so, patience. So what is the, their basis for coming up with that, all right. that pricing structure? Let me tell you how it is. Dr. Alexis, you want to join my insurance? I have 30,000 people around. Mm-hmm. But you have to take this price, otherwise they ain't coming to you. Mm. It's called a contracted price. It's highway robbery. So, so, but they must, they must have some reason. They must have some reference oh, yeah. point. Oh, oh, yeah. Profit. That's it? Profit. So, you, they're not consulting other physicians and saying what, you know, doing a survey across the country to say how much does it cost no. to deliver a child? No. I have all the patients. You want them? <laughs> you will take this price. Wow. Wow. Let me give you an idea. In Brook, I shouldn't be calling him. One of them insurance company back in 19... 19- 90 mm-hmm. paid me 300, 3,500 to deliver a baby, right? It's not to deliver the baby. It's nine months of care. Right, okay, okay. They don't pay me for that. The whole nine months I have to wait, first of all, to get my money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then I deliver. That's included in the price. It's called, a, And then I have to take care of them for six weeks after the baby is born. Mm-hmm. That was 35. 3,500 means also, if they call me 42 times, during the pregnancy, I don't get extra money for that. Okay. Every time they call me, you're going to have to go and take care of them free for this global free. Right? They paid me 35 in 1989 or 90. Mm-hmm. Right now, the same income insurance company paid me 1300 At that time, they didn't have the contracted prices. Wow. That's the evolution in them making profit. Okay. okay. So the first thing I'm saying is the, the insurance company is not your friend. Is not my friend, and there's nothing named good insurance. Okay, but, or shall I say, however, it's not something that we can do without. Ah, that's the difference. Second difference. You pay on your car and you pay all your life, you never collect. Mm -hmm. You ever see that? You buy life insurance, and every night you say, God, I hope I don't collect this Mm -hmm. insurance. LK is different. Everybody who purchases LK uses it. Mm Mm-hmm. And if you're not, shame something on you. is wrong yeah, with shame you. On you. All right. So uh, the reason I'm going on with this, I am trying to make profit mm-hmm. because I'm a businessman. Obviously. The insurance company is trying to make money because it's a business. Mm-hmm. The hospital trying to make a business. Mm-hmm. The MRI people trying. Healthcare is a business. Yes. So don't say, you ever know any businessman who really like you? You like your money. <laughs> And like in any business, the more confusing the system is, it is better for the person who has the system going. And it's worse for you because you can't navigate right, it. You right, understand right, what's going right. on with that? Sure sure so what is happening is not by chance. It was designed. Design. Mm-hmm. Right? So they, they made the language gibberish. Mm-hmm. What I mean by that is like doctor's hysterectomy. 
Where did that, that come from? You could have said take out the one womb. But hysterectomy I could confuse the whole world. I alone know where the hell I'm talking. Uh, those about. are your medical terms. Well, well, okay. Same thing with the insurance. Mm-hmm. Deductible, copay, right? Uh, outer network, in network, authorization, honor. All of that is a bunch of crap. But the more confusing they make it, the less you will utilize it because you don't understand your rights, and the more profit they will make. So. Your job is to neg- is to know how to go through the system, right, right, and then choose something that fits you. All right. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back. Doctor Ronald Moore and his team at Minimally Invasive Surgery perform laparoscopic robotic procedures with the utmost precision. As a bariatric surgery specialist, Doctor Moore performs a range of surgeries and operations focusing on areas and organs of the abdomen. For gastric sleeve, bypass, and banding, to endoscopic balloon, and hernia procedures, call the Office of Minimally Invasive Surgery at 954-797-4220 to schedule your appointment. Minimally Invasive Surgery has two convenient Broward County locations to serve you. Call 954-797-4220 to schedule your appointment today. And we're back to medically speaking with Dr. Winston Alexis. Our topic for this episode is health insurance. So, Doc, uh-huh. help me out now with some of this confusing language and okay. some of the terminology right. that is used in this world yeah, right. but I of want health to, insurance. I want them to understand why it's being used. It's mm-hmm. to rip you off. <laughs> but the least you could understand, the less you could negotiate. Right. The more confusion, the more money they make. Of course, of course. All right, let me give you one quick example. Christmas Day... I can't get the year correct, but um, my children were still late teens. Mm -hmm. I'm living somewhere in a place called Jacaranda Lakes. Christmas morning, I get up. All the kids up to this day, and their family come to my house Christmas morning, everybody. Mm -hmm. So, boy, I get up. The children scream them upstairs. They open the toys. I smell the ham and thing. I say, oh, God, I won't beat some booze this morning. A lady in labor... Our general mm-hmm. say, well, okay, you know, woman, she have more than one baby. She ain't gonna take that long. I could leave the eight o'clock go do this baby by ten eleven back. Make a long story short, I finish eight o'clock in the night. Oh wow, she had all kind of thing wrong with her. So I say, it's all right. Here I come on, mommy. Say, oh God, when son, that's one thing about these people don't understand. I say, yeah, but. Um, I won't get a good little change for it. Those were the days when we still get three grand. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, so I send in my claim. The claim denied. How do you mean denied? Call them back. There's a rule that you have to notify this insurance company. It starts with an H. Up to now, I don't take it no more. And you have to notify them within 24 hours of the delivery. Saturday Christmas Day. So I, I say, I'm going to call them Monday morning. So Christmas and a weekend. Yes, yes, yes. I call them. Denied. I say, why? Oh, you didn't call in time. I say, listen to me. Call Brother General. Find out if I was there. <laughs> Ask the woman if I deliver this baby. Teron, <laughs> I call the insurance, the guy in Tallahassee that deal with insurances. And he tell me he cannot help me because I signed the paper saying that I will call them within 24 hours after. Never got paid for it. I swear before God, never. I spent whole day Christmas Day. Wow. Wow. Never. Wow. And I can't believe I'm contracted with them. Wow. I've never used it since. I could just tell you it start with the H before they throw me out, before they put me in jail. <laughs> but that's the kind of the rules they put in. Mm-hmm. So you you don't know it, so you don't do it. So so they're they're banking on both the physicians and the patients not digging into the fine print and not getting clarity on the definition. And the insurance companies. They have it for all of us and the hospitals and wow. the MRIs. Wow. But you know, the those big companies have like 25 people working on making sure 
mm-hmm. that the language is proper when you build. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's why that's why that lady mm-hmm. gets so good at it. That's all she do all day is collect her money. Yeah, that's... So I learn from it by she. Every time I mess up, she cuss me. Winston, the people say you have to do this, this, and so I practice it more that than medicine. Than medicine. <laughs> all right. So how are you going to beat them? Is learn the language. Yes. And learn the tricks. Okay. So language number one, no insurance company or agent is your friend. All right. They are businessmen. They don't hate you. They're just plain old businessmen. Business All right. They're in it for profit. Right. Same thing with the doctor. They're in it to make a I'm dollar. not lying to mm. you. So it's up to you to mm-hmm. understand the system mm-hmm. and be able to talk up. Right? My patients have been educated recently, not insurance, but on medicine. Yes. The kind of question they're asking me, I know they probably see from Dr. Google or something, but they're really the right kind of question. Of course, to ask. and that's the way it should be. Yeah, I should refer be. them to someone that said, Doc, you sure he's good? Yeah, but what, these are, yeah. the, these are yeah. the things that we've been talking about yeah. on, on the show. So. All right, so we, let's get to it. The language. Mm-hmm. And this has nothing to do with the insurance, a special insurance company. All the insurances use this language. Mm-hmm. All right? What happened originally was you pay a premium right. every year, and you get certain services for it. All right? Mm-hmm. But healthcare is going up so high that the premiums can't support the profits they want. Okay. So they said, Jesus, if I raise premiums, nobody ain't gonna want to buy it. So let me try a way out of outsmarting the public by telling them you pay your premiums, but we have something called coinsurance. That means you pay part of the final bill and I pay part. Me are paying all no more. It's called cost sharing. That's what coinsurance is? No, cost sharing okay coinsurance is a part of that yes. all right so let me tell you what they're saying now the premium is one thing that's all people watching i want low low premium Premium. Mm. yeah you get low premium but you get ten thousand dollar deductible mm-hmm. that mean and i'll get down to that you understand what they're doing they put terms like copy mm-hmm. all of that is sharing in addition to your premium you have to pay this deductible in addition to your premium, you have to. Right, right. Meanwhile, people focusing on the premium. Yes, yes. The bamboozle you. The mm. premium is small, but when you get the deduct, that's why people get trapped. Co-pay, deductible, co-insurance, total out-of-profit, out-of-pocket Pocket. benefit. Mm. I went big medical school, and I get confused with it sometimes. Right, right. So you could imagine. But you have to learn this language. And remember... It's for all insurances. Mm-hmm. And it's a way of the insurance company having you pay more than the premium. Of course. Of course. Okay. And hide it so you don't realize all you concentrate in on is a premium. No. Cost sharing is your additional premium, but you're paying it before and you're paying it when you get the services. You want me to go over that again, too? So, so. Just so I'm clear then, and you're saying that this is not regulated. At all. Wow. And I have news for you. The one that they tried to regulate it, the present president is trying to get it repealed. Right, right, right. People don't realize ACA is not an insurance policy. It's not an insurance plan. Mm -hmm. It's a regulator. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? It tells them. Right. Pre-existing condition. Right, you right. have to give people insurance. You couldn't get that before the right. ACA. That limits on how much they will pay if you're sick. Right. And, if, and just if, so you're we're clear, ladies and gentlemen, that's the Affordable Care, care Act. Act. Yeah. Yes. Now they can total you up. Once they take you and you have an illness where you're dying for 25 years and money going up, they cannot kick you off it. They used to before. Mm, okay. So AC is a regulator. And they regulate us too. I could only do, I have to do annual free. You understand mm-hmm, me? The mm-hmm. pops may have to be covered by the insurance right, right, company. Right, right, right. 
that's what the insurance company actually need an affordable care act to put limits on on the the, the the and they're not doing anything illegal right but put rules to bring them back on the side of the people patient right right all right wow. right that you didn't realize all of that is what ACA is doing in addition to that AC they subsidize a set of people who was in no man's land. You have Medicare, mm-hmm. and you had the rich people taking care of themselves, and you had the poor people in the ghetto taking care of. Is the average Joe Blow like us? Mm-hmm. So, over, Affordable Care say, act. Medicaid, you could get, let's say, $20,000. Yeah, that's not true. Obama and o- o- Care say, okay, we can make that 40 mm, Okay. So now more people could get it. You understand what they would do? Plus the regulation. All right? The the the, the Obama so called care people think is a it's a platform right. where these companies could come in and try to get the people who are being subsidized, get their insurance. But to sign up with them you have to follow the rules. That's right. And by the way, many of them sign up and then pull out after two years, you mm-hmm. know that? Mm-hmm. Because there's too much rules. That is why it is so important for Mr. Biden to win. Because the medical industry, not just the insurance, we, the people that make pharmaceuticals, the people that make MRI machines, biomedical, need to be regulated. They are not. Okay. That's why a a pharmacist, imagine they they charge, what, $30 for the pen one day? Right, right. And is that thousand? What is that? The, the price hike is what ridiculous. What the heck is yeah. that? Medication, right. standard medication. That's because they goes. are not regulated. Yes. They need to be re- When all you're voting all the time, always look at what they say about these yes. and cel- doctors, everybody. Regulation we need. This industry, because it's too expensive to start with. Mm-hmm. All right? So this language, again, that we, I'm going to tell you now, some words, is your way of paying more than the premium you are paying for your health care. Okay. Let's start one, copay. Mm-hmm. People don't feel bad. Oh, it's only $25 I have to pay every time I go see the doctor. That ain't that much. Right, right. Right? Oh, only $10 copay when I go for my, my drugs. Mm-hmm. When I go for my MRI, right? oh, it's only $40. By the way, add up all of them and add it to your premium. Mm-hmm. And you really see what you're paying. That's correct. So that's one, copay. Mm-hmm. Second one, they had copay first to come up with the deductible. They, they're marvelous. They're coming up with some new thing. What is the deductible? Okay, you know, in order to keep your premium reasonable, that's fine. If you don't get sick, we have something called a deductible. You're, you're paying that premium, but then you promise me not to get sick. And nobody asks you, but in your eye, I, just in case, I have this thing called a deductible. If you make a mistake and get sick, you have to pay that before I start paying. Mm -hmm. All of that are considered cost sharing. Deductibles, co-pays need to be added to your premium. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. So is there a way I get in mom and say my premium is only a hundred dollars a month? Oh yeah. By the time the end of the year and you add all of that up to run, your premium is about two thousand dollars. Okay. By the way, another thing with the affordable care, yeah, your children can be insured on your insurance, which is much cheaper once they're in college and they're below a certain age. That is the affordable care. Yeah. All right. When you kick out the affordable care, yeah, folks, that That's gone. That's it. All right. So, all right. So, deductible we went through. Mm-hmm. Copay is every time you see a provider, you pay. Right, right. Deductible is. You are going to pay this. In other words, an ultrasound is six hundred dollars, and your deductible is two thousand. Guess who's paying the six? You will have to pay that until you hit that two thousand. Exactly, and then they kick in. They're mm-hmm. paying one cent before that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You understand the tricks that's going on? Yes, here? yes. You think that was all? No, man. They have another thing called coinsurance. Don't mix it up with copay. Right, right. Co-insurance mean after you finish the deductible and after you finish the copay, 
what is left over me and you share in 70-30. So that's another 30%. But remember, all of that is if you get sick. If you have to make use of any of this, they run. Wow. So what we need to do is this, a general idea. If you're young and healthy, mm-hmm. get a very high deductible yes, yes. so your premium is really low because you're not likely to use, use. the deductible right, and right. you're wasting your premium. Yes, yes, yes. Now, if you're a little fat, or did I say fat? I mean overweight. Boy, I keep forgetting, man. Obese. <laughs> plump, plump, fluffy. And you have diabetes, and you have high blood pressure, mm-hmm. and you have cataract, mm-hmm. and you have glaucoma. Mm-hmm. You need to pay a high premium yes. and no deductible because, because you're, you're going, going to be going there a hundred yes, times. Yes, yes. Right? You're, you're, but you understand how you have to how learn these things. How and by do. the way, go online. You can get all this information mm-hmm. I'm giving you. Or, or keep listening to the podcast. You need to sit down. It's like going to school when you're buying health insurance. Right, right, right. You need to get everything. Uh, and by the way, we even get to the plans yet, you know. This is just the bamboozling language that they are using so you don't understand they're pulling a blanket over your face. That premiums is just a little trap the set for you. All that right. other language is more important. Starting as low as mm-hmm. <laughs> $99.99. Right. Plus $50 copay, $2,000 deductible, $1,200 coinsurance. And, uh, and before you choose, get and read, see what everything say about that. And by the way, my patients are lucky. You want to get it and bring it when me and when I have a little time, I'll tell you. All right. So your your provider could could help you, right? Too. Because that's how we make. We yes. better understand them copay. Yes. Yes. By the way, if I'm supposed to collect the deductible, and I don't collect it, that's my business. The insurance company has nothing to do with that. And you're, they're not going to reimburse you? No, they are definitely not. And, right. and good luck getting it from the patient when she has children to send to school and things to do. All right. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. For the absolute best obstetrics and gynecology care, call South Florida OBGYN at 954-452-4377. Schedule your appointment today with Dr. Winston Alexis, who has been serving the women of South Florida for over 25 years. Conveniently located in Plantation, Florida, the courteous and professional team at South Florida OBGYN are standing by to assist you. Schedule your appointment today by calling 954-452-4377. And we're back to Medically Speaking with Dr. Winston Alexis. Yeah. So, Doc, we've covered the uniqueness of health insurance in that whole world of insurance. And nothing else in the insurance world nothing. resembles it. We've spoken about the language and the terminology that is used, the twists and the turns. Something that you sound very passionate about. Because you're my money the tea for me because I didn't follow <laughs> I didn't follow the rules and they refused to pay me. After I done give myself we're going yes. to put back the uterus when I take it out. I can't, I can't, I can't repossess like a car, you I know. Do, I do. It's gone. Gone. Like that Christmas Day story. Aye, never Jesus. Mind. Never mind. So let's talk a little bit now about you had mentioned that there might be some some safeguards that you can put in place. All right. We started off with the end of the last thing we said. Yes. Know your health. If it's relatively good, you're young, you don't have any chronic illnesses, it might sound wrong, but it's right. Get a a, a, a high deductible, Mm -hmm. low premium, because you're not likely to use your insurance. Correct. Correct. If you're sicky, sicky, or you have two or three comorbidities, and you're always in somebody's doctor office, get a high premium, mm-hmm. but a low deductible. Okay. Because you have to go see a doctor 25 times in the first three months. Mm-hmm. And every visit is coming off the, the deductible. Yes, yes. You understand what I mean? So you want to be sure. You can read up on it. There, there, there are sites online that, Give you that same principle depending on, all right? So that's two. 
Mm-hmm. Number one, support the Affordable Care Act okay. with all your life and vigor. Anytime you see that word anywhere and people running for election, mm-hmm. the people are running against it, do not vote for them. Okay. ACA is meant to protect your rights. A song like a lawyer now. <laughs> protect. <laughs> right? In addition, remember what I told you about the about um affordable care. You could your your children could get insurance right, right, right. on your policy. Mm-hmm. We have to take you whether you have a pre existing condition, condition or not. Right, right. Your your annual physical have to be free. Mm-hmm. The insurance have to pay for your pap smear every year. Mm-hmm. They have to pay for your mammogram. Got it. So that's what Affordable Care Act is. Mm-hmm. And you might hear about Obamacare online. That's just companies agreeing to come in and follow these rules. All right. So those are the companies that are listed on healthcare. Right. And it's the regular companies. It's just that's a gov. different plan. Yeah. Healthcare. Right. Mm-hmm. So they just control what they do. Obama don't have that insurance plan. Obama is not an insurance plan. Right, right. It's right. the rules by which insurance company and providers have to go by. Mm-hmm. And we need that. Of course. Believe of course. me. Even us doctors it's need it. Otherwise, we'll go away. We'll run away with the price. Is it only kind of regulation out there? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> <I know. laughs> All right. The other thing is you have to have a healthcare fund. Mm hmm. Remember, your old man used to keep some money under the mattress. Right, right, right. It is impossible mm-hmm. to go through life not having to pay some health care cost mm-hmm. other than premiums. Agreed. All right? So you need a health fund. Mm-hmm. Right? Now there are some health funds by that are sponsored by the government that if you take an insurance plan with a low premium and a high deductible you could start a savings account to pay the deductible if you need it Mm -hmm. and it's tax exempt okay that's interesting but that's only for the the plans that are very high deductible low premiums premiums you could go to the if the for instance if let's say the deductible is three thousand, mm-hmm. you could go and start an account in the bank, and all banks carry this or all the major. Well, banks listen carry. to me, yes, but whether you get the tax exempt or not, mm-hmm. you should do it. Right, right, right. Remember, the tax exempt is only for special policies, mm-hmm. but any human being right can open an account called a health account if. You do not fall into the category of high deductible, right? It's your health fund. Right. It's making money to run. Let me give you an example. And by the way, I was told this back in 1970-something mm. when I was first coming out to practice. Everybody say you should have a certain sum of money that's put aside for your health. The only time you can use it is for health. That makes sense. You could use all the interest for yourself. Mm-hmm. Or you could get it back in it to make more interest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're going to tax it at the end, but who cares? You're making interest. Right, right, and right. by the way, it's your money. Yeah. You have to go to Jamaica or Trinidad or send kids to one of them places because of an emergency. You have $5,000 in your health fund. Excellent. You don't take it out. You borrow three. Mm-hmm. You don't need no collateral. Why? It's your 5000 And when you come back... You pay it back. So the moral of that story, ladies and gentlemen, is looking to opening a health account. As an investment. Yes, yes. That to be used. If you're healthy, you will never use it. So right. that it reads 60000 mm-hmm. But if it so happened that your catastrophe will come and your deductible is 3000 Yeah, have 3, somewhere 000, to turn Thank side. you. Mm-hmm. And the best thing to do, if you don't need that money, add to it. Is your money? Yes, yes. Some you could put it in different instruments. It doesn't have to be. Could be a. You are businessman, so you know that mm. could be mutual fund. Yes, 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 yes. It could be whatever the of instruments course. are. Course. The important thing, though, you cannot use it for anything but health. health. If you use it for health, you don't have to replace it. Right. If you borrow it mm-hmm. to do your nails and do up your hair for a wedding, 
You have put, to bury put, it and put it back. Put it back. Thank you. <laughs> right? That's what. But there is such a thing where the government will give tax exemption to such a fund right. if it follow the rules that the government have okay. for how high your deductible have to be. And the banks know about this. Right. So you could go and say, look, I want to open a, a health fund. So talk to your bankers about this, this health account. And again, make sure that you're also looking at your, your specific insurance and, plan. And everybody should have one. Yes. Every single oh, make, make person sense. should have one. I have. I have. I can't talk to her because that lady might hear. Yes. I dip into it every uh, night. But I borrow it. I borrow I borrow. borrow. You put it back. It takes me kind of long to put it back. But you put it back. <laughs> All right. Talk so hard now. Eventually. I, I promise to put it back. I promise every note. <laughs> well, on that note, yeah. Matt, let's, <laughs> let's talk a little bit about some of the plans now right. and how to, how to work right. your way through the plans. All right. But understand now, all the plans use them same language I'm using. Right, right. So this I have nothing to their plan. They don't use it. That includes Medicare, everybody. Right. So the plan is telling you for your premium... This is what we're going to give you. Mm-hmm. Not just your premium and all your deductible and thing. This is what we are going to give you. Right. That's outside of the language. Right, right. And the Obama and them who had the thing online mm-hmm. use a principle that's true for all insurance company. Okay. Their gold, their platinum right, right, plans, right. Mm-hmm. gold, silver, you know how it goes. Mm-hmm. Each one of them outline what you're going to get for this. Right? And let me give you rough examples. You just have to read it. The plan itself, for instance, HMO, PPO, point of service. They have about 15 different plans. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right? And most people don't understand what the plan is. That's the next part they have to understand. And HMO is a company, relatively cheap, Mm-hmm. But they control more. You have less independence in maneuvering this kind of plan. You can't go to any doctor you want. Right, right, you right. have to go to their doctor. Mm-hmm. This is where the in network. Exactly. And out of network. No, but but HMO, you can't, there's no such thing as out, out of, of it. It's all, all in network. You go to our doctors, you go when we say you get. Right. Only way you could go see a specialist, you have to get a primary care doctor to say it's okay. Right, got it. Mm hmm. PPO have their own rules. And right. all the rules are, as you go from bronze on these things, the higher the metal mm-hmm. in the chain, the more you get. So a PPO say, okay. And by the way, HMO, you go to a set of providers. You go, you can't go nowhere else. Right. You're locked. Mm-hmm. If Dr. Alexis is in there, and by the way, I, I, I swear to you, I'm telling this. Among the patients come, I say, listen, you have a HMO. Go. It's not like it's something live, threatening. Then I could see you come into the maestro. Mm-hmm. But Jesus is a pop smack. You know, tell me, Dr. Alexi, you hear me? Me ain't going nowhere. They pay out of their pocket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so make sure when you get whatever plan you get, your providers need to be a provider. Right, 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 right. All right. So PPO still have the providers, but you know something? You could go outside, you know, mm-hmm. but your deductible might be a little high. You know, there's a deductible if you go out. There isn't one if you stay. Right, right. Right? And then as you go up the line, there is one where you could go who you want, when you want, but of course that premium is more. So the point is when you get the plan, read what it gives you and what it does not give you. Right. Folks, and all these things we're doing, you need to do before you sign up for it. Right. And also, most yeah. importantly, if you do have a preferred yeah. physician, make sure, make sure that he's the, on the provider. Right. Or her. Or her. Uh, he or her. Uh, I guess. <laughs> I come from a world back in the day. Medicine was a man's world, you know. Not anymore. No man. My daughter take out. She come and thief mine out for All me. All right. <laughs> And I'm her and I'm her doing the books. I'm in trouble. A woman royal now. I just work for them, you know. All right. Right. No, but actually, you know, women has taken over medicine, you know that? Oh my god, they have risen tremendous. No, really. Mm-hmm. 
right? Women has, has begun to rise. And don't talk about my specialty. It's about 90% women oh, know. I'm, what? That, that. They're begging guys to come into this specialty now. Mm-hmm. Anyway, let's get back to what we're saying, right, yeah. So you always, when you get going for your plan, mm-hmm. ask them for the booklet yes. before you sign. Yes. Yes. By the way, they're basically... A couple of insurances you have to know. This has nothing to do with the plan. This is who paying for the plan. Right. Right? Of course, there are people who don't have nobody, nobody to help them pay, so they pay everything. Mm-hmm. Then the the most common ones in the United States call, uh, call um, employer-sponsored health care plans. That's the largest group of people yes. that's insured. Yes. It's provided by your by your um, your company that you work and on. but there are options within their plans right don't just sign up for the cheapest premium get the book read it see how much it, anything you don't answer yeah, you can yes. ask your your doctor or talk to the insurance person mm-hmm. what and does typically mean what does this mean make sure they explain everything about the language the plan yeah. And what the plan offers to you right right uh, very 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 important Patients tend to sign a plan and come and say, "But, but, but, two thousand deductible. Where are you gonna get that doctor for you to?" I said, "Jesus, you should, you ask right, the people. Right. They the, didn't even know." The key thing in all of this is to ask questions. So, if it's your employer sponsored plan, speak to your human resources representative, and they should be able to answer. If not, they'll put you in touch with a representative from the health insurance very company. Good, very good. Or speak to your physician. So I'm thinking about changing plans. The company has put this in front of me. Are you on this? Are any? Are you on any of these plans? No, not only that, sir, so Doc. I want to make sure you on this plan, and I need mm. to. I don't understand some of this. Can, right, right. Can your girls help me a little bit with absolutely. it? Absolutely, absolutely. So the point is, navigate mm-hmm. before you sign. Right, right. Find out. Call and don't go on the Google. Google and no damn thing. People just write anything they feel on Google. <laughs> All right. So make sure, right? The the sec the last thing now. Oh, insurance is always evolving. Yes. So yes. every year, Things when it's change. time where you could look over your insurance, go back over everything. I do it in the beginning, and every time before you change, look at everything. Yes. And by the way, these rules are good for employer sponsored. And it's good for regular. Yes. And it's good for people with subsidized care like mm-hmm. Obamacare. Mm-hmm. All right? Remember now, plenty of people think Obamacare is an insurance. It is not. Right, right. It's a, it's a, a federal act, mm-hmm. right, that regulate the health industry. Right. And right. then there is just a portal right. that facilitates you signing up for, All right. yes. for it. Well, you sign up for the one-day subsidy. Right, correct. Right, they say we saw, and you, you could get them, but you have to follow these rules. Mm. All right, the again, it's evolving. Mm. Very important. What you see this year, next year, your in, employer might change plan everything to know where you have to Correct. start all over Correct. again. Right? And it's up to you. It's your responsibility. It's not the insurance response. It's not your doctor's responsibility. All right, we are going to talk about this some more because you can't take this yeah, in. What I will do the next time we turn is I'll actually give you some examples right. and show you where, so the, what you should have known. The key takeaway for this um, part one of health insurance is, you know, we've, we've spoken about what it is. We've spoken about the, how it's different from any other kind of insurance. We've spoken about the language and the terminology that you need to understand Take some time, read it. If you don't yeah. understand it, ask questions. Yeah. Spoken about some of the safeguards. Young and healthy, lower premium, higher deductibles. You're not likely to use. All right. And then most importantly, though, learning about the plans and how to navigate the plans. The two things that I'd like to mention before we close out this show is, one, make sure that you have some insurance, though. Do not. There's no reason. There are options. They're subsidized. There's insurance available through most employers, if not all. And there is there are government options as well. And there's no there's no shame in taking care. Or sorry, taking 
advantage of these. I have news for you. Dr. Alexis is taking advantage. Okay. I have Medicare and I use it all day, every day. Anyway, I go and push it in front all of right. me. All right. Sometimes people look me kind of funny. That's a business. Here is my Medicare card. That's right. I carry good RX, so again, discount. That's up. right. Use, this, use yes, them. Use every them. means you can. That's right. To get some help. And there's many means out there, you know, that That's people right. don't know about. Correct. But most of at the second thing, you give them the first, the second thing is open uh, a, an and a, a health oh. in a health fund yes for yourself to supplement the deductibles and the copies yes, and yes. the all kind of crap that they put into it and by the way if you never use it you're making money that's right it's an investment in your health that's by right. the way what do you think the insurance do with your premium invest they it. take it and invest it that's like right. you could do yourself and they use the extra money to make more money. <laughs> like, don't let them outsmart you. And don't let no, oh, God, this guy is going to kill me. The insurance agent is not really your friend. No, no. Because no. the higher the premium is, the more commission and they get. In. But they are good people. Yeah, they're, bi- they're and, business people. And, yeah, they're they have business. to make the they're money. Bi- they're exactly. Right. Don't, but don't believe if I was doing it, I'm going to drop my little cut to make sure you get what's best for you. If you believe that, I want to sell you Brooklyn Bridge. All right. And the last thing, ladies and gentlemen, is right now I think we're in open enrollment for Medicare. Yeah. All right. And certainly for yeah. all health insurance. All right. Yeah. On that note. Yeah. That's all. No, no I, I want to tell them what I have. I have Medicare. I hear them, people right? saying that dirty money up. Yes. Yes. Right? They pay for my boat knee. <laughs> they pay for my prostate. I'm telling you, me pay for something long time. But I have supplemental insurance. Right, right. People don't realize you pay a premium for, for, for Medicare. Mm-hmm. It's, it's much. It's like $150 a month. Mm-hmm. And they have deductible, they have copays, and they have deductibles in some plan. Right. So even with Medicare, you have to... By the way, all them people mark Medicare Advantage. Mm-hmm. Read the plan. The rules also go for that. Oh, we're going to pay for your dental. We give you free OP. We give you reduction, yeah? But <laughs> but then we we say for who you could go to. I rest my case. Eh? And, uh, all those kind of signals. You know. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Medically Speaking with Dr. Winston Alexis is presented and produced by the Caribbean American Connection. Until next time, thank you. We appreciate your time with us on Medically Speaking with Dr. Winston Alexis, hosted by Tyrone Robertson. Join us next Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on CaribCast.tv, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and most other popular podcast platforms. Doc is back. Although the host and guests are qualified professionals, they assume no responsibility for inaccuracies, omissions, inconsistencies, and any slight of people or organizations. Listeners should use their own judgment or consult an expert or their personal physician for specific applications to their individual medical problems.